So the accompanying data requ- represents the weights in grams of a simple random sample of 48 M&M plain candies. Determine the shape of the distribution of weights of M&Ms by drawing a frequency histogram. Find the mean and median, and which measure of central tendency better describes the weight of plain M&Ms. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on our table here, and I'm definitely going to open that up in StackCrunch. We'll go ahead and create graph and histogram. Bar one, and just press compute, take all the defaults. Okay, and as you might expect, relatively symmetric, uh, bell-shaped curve here. So what do we have here for my choices? Again, so as I look through these, the only one that sort of comes close is, is this guy right here. They're been with a slightly different, so maybe a slightly different shape here. So their bin width is, what are we going from 0.78 to 0.84? So that's 0.06 divided by 3. So their bin width is 0.02. So if I wanted to change that, edit and change that bin width to 0.02. And let me go ahead and change that again. Uh, the start width, they did 0.78. There we go. So now it does look more like that one, right? So there are two ways to do this. We can actually get the mean straight from the histogram. If I go to options and edit, I can put mean, and I bet they're gonna ask for median here in a second. I can put mean and median markers on it. Sometimes that is super helpful. So if I hover my mouse over, it tells me the mean here is 0.875. And the median, they're so close together, is also 0.875. So another way we could have gotten that right is from using the summary statistic. And recall, I almost always do that before I do anything. Stat, summary statistics, columns. And here they are as well. Same two values. So the median is also 0.875. So when these measures are close to get together, it, it's an indication that the distribution is symmetric. So which measure of center best describes the weight? Well, they're both the same. Um, but in general, we want to use the mean when the distribution is symmetric. If it were skewed left or skewed right, we would use the median. Or if it has outliers, we'd use the median. So I hope that helps.